this is our pre-flight for inside the cabin for group one. Um, the first thing we do is we check our required documentation. We make sure we have our airworthiness certificate and that we have our registration and that it's not expired. Next thing we do is we ensure the avionics switch is off and turn on the battery master 2 switch. The avionics fan should kick on. The PFD on the left side should kick on. And the light next to the flaps should not be lit. Going to systems, we ensure that volts are between 23 and 25 volts, which that is within the parameters. We then turn on battery master one switch. And we check that all lights are operational. Ensuring that the navigation, the strobe, and the landing light are operational, we then turn them back off. We are not going to check for a stall warning. Um, it is a small hole on the side of the wing. We ensure, we check the fuel quantity. We ensure it's it's where we need to be for our for takeoff and flight operations. And then we switch to the largest tank. Now we look back where the IFD system page sensor and we see that almost everything is in the green. AHRS takes a while to warm up, but we're allowed to operate and it's okay to taxi with that not okay. Next we go to flaps and we go to 50 and we ensure that it stops. Right now. And then we go to 100%, 100% and it stops all the way at the bottom. Next, we turn battery master one and two switch off. We ensure that the alternate static source is at normal and that all the circuit breakers on this section of is all in. We then ensure that we have a fire extinguisher and that we have an egress hammer on board. That concludes our in-cabin pre-flight. All right, start when you get out of the cockpit. You're going to come over, make sure the wing fairing is all intact. Then you're going to look up, check for COM1 antenna, make sure it's attached. Then you're going to go to the underside, make sure COM2 antenna is intact. Then make sure your baggage door is shut. Then you come over to the static port. Don't rub your finger over it, but make sure there's nothing clogged in it. Then you check for the parachute cover, make sure there's no cracks or dents or anything in it. Then as you walk back, you come over to the horizontal stabilizer. Make sure there's no dings, scratches, walk by to the elevator. Then you get a check for the counter pins. Make sure you got full free and correct movement with the yoke up in the cockpit. Tab, make sure it's attached. Then you come back to the bottom side. Make sure there isn't evidence of a tail strike. Make sure the tie downs are removed. And you can check the runner for full and free correct movement. And then you come over to this side. <laughs> Alright, so once you get inside of the airplane, you are looking for full and free movement on the horizontal stabilizer. Check for the counter pins. Uh, come around the airplane. Make sure there's no dings or dents or scratches. Make sure all the screws are inlaid. Check the static port. Don't put your finger over it again. Um, check the stump. Fuselage fairing. Fuselage fairing. Make sure that's all intact. Check the uh, rub strip. Uh, make sure it's up here. Come over, check the trip tab, make sure it's in place. Once again, check for any screws or bolts like they could be out of place. Come to the edge, make sure the beacon lights are working. Alright, leaving off in the field. We're going to look down, just make sure that there's nothing covered in the fuel bed. Make sure it's free, then we're going to go over the leading edge of the wing. Make sure there's a little dents. Check the icing black mark, whatever that is. Make 
make sure that all the counter pins and the joints are aligned for the flap. Coming over here, look at the tire repairing, make sure it's attached to the swing, make sure the tires are inflated, that there's proper tread on it, make sure that you need the chalk. And you're going to do the first sump. sediment or any water, the water will kind of float to the bottom. As we come over here, make sure that the cabin air vent is clear, don't want any birds or anything in that. Then do the second sump. And again, make sure there's no water, no sediment. Then check the front of the fairing, make sure it's all attached. You can come over here, give the exhaust pipe a little tap, make sure it's got a little spring to it. Then you come over and there's a third, the gas leader sump, which is just behind the fairing. Hold that for about three seconds. And check that again, make sure there's no water, sediment, and then you can come over and dump it back in the wing. And the wing is done. On the side of the cowling, you have to check to make sure all the uh, screws are in and secure. And then you check inside the cowling to make sure no birds or anything is down in the air. Check the uh, rotator one belt to make sure it's tight. And then check the uh, propeller blades to make sure they're on. Make sure not to dent it up and stuff. And then look inside this cowling. Make sure nothing's gotten up there. Check the, uh, the tire fairing and the uh, inflation and the spread. And make sure the uh, landing lights are uh, good. And then you check the, uh, the screws. Make sure the external power door is closed and screwed in. And then here we have to check for the oil. Make sure the oil is between six and eight volts. And this is seven. That's it for the cow. Get around to the side of the plane, get down here, check the transponder antenna, make sure it's not bent. Then you go over here and you check fuselage. fuselage fairing. The fuselage fairing. Make sure it's alright. Get down here, check the cabin air vent, make sure nothing's blocking that. Get down here, check the cabin wheel fairing. Make sure everything's all right. Also, you want to make sure you check the brakes. Make sure it's all green. When it's green. Tire tread. Oh, and then you check the tread. Make sure it's all good. Over here. Now we go under here. And over here. Hold it up, check for fuel and salt, uh, sediment, make sure it's all good, it's all clear. Then you take this, open it up, check how much fuel you got. Alright, and then from there you check the leading edge of the wing, make sure the stall strip's attached. And come down here and check the fuel vent and make sure there's no blockages and check to make sure there's nothing that's gotten into the uh, pedo tube and that it's still attached. And then come to the wing kit, make sure it's attached. Check the strobe light and nav lights, make sure they're good. And then come over to the aileron and make sure that it has uh, its free movement. And then the, uh, the pins are in there. And then come down to the flap, make sure there's no uh, dents or anything in it and check the rub strips. Strips fine, and that's the end of the